Mass 9 Lesson 1, Introducing Polynomials. So let's start off with the definitions for this lesson. Number 1, Algebra, a branch of math that uses blank to represent unknown numbers or quantities. A branch of math that uses symbols to represent unknown numbers or quantities. Number 2, Term, a single piece of mathematical information. Example, 6x, negative 12mx, negative 4m5. A term can be a constant. Example, 20. Number 3, Polynomial. A general term describing an algebraic expression made up of terms connected by a minus or a plus. It can be a monomial, binomial, trinomial, etc. Number four, monomial. A blank term, no pluses or minuses in between the parts. Example 1c. Well, from this example, there's really only one term here. So the blank here would be a single term. Number five, binomial. By means blank, example bicycle, has two terms separated by a plus or a minus, example 1c plus 2. From this example, one term, two term, and it's being separated by a plus here, so the blank here would be by means 2, example bicycle. Definitions continued. Number 6, trinomial. Tri means blank, example tricycle, has three terms separated by a plus or a minus, example 4c plus 23 plus 5t. Well, we can see from this example, there are three terms here because they are separated by a plus, so in the blank, tri means three, example tricycle. Number seven, degree of a term. The sum of the exponents on the variables in a single term, in a single term. So we'd add the exponents. Example, 5m to the power of 6, c to the power of 3. See here, this is a single term. So we would add these exponents here, which would give us the degree would be 9 as we add the exponents. Number 8, degree of a polynomial. The degree of the highest degree term in a polynomial. Pick the term with the highest degree. Example, 7m cubed minus 5m squared b to the power of 4. Well, from this example, we can see that these are two different terms. So, back to degree of a term, the sum of the exponents of the variables in a single term. In a single term. So, what we do is we'd add all of these separately. So, we'd add 2 and 4 together, which is 6. But, and for this, well, it's only 3 here, which so is 3. So, which one is the highest degree out of all of these? 6. Number nine, coefficient, number in front of a variable. Example, 8b. The coefficient is 8. Because this is a variable, so the number in front of that variable is 8. Number 10, constant, a number in an expression not in front of a variable. Example, 3m minus 11. The constant is negative 11 because here is a variable. Here is the coefficient, and the number 9 in front of the variable is negative 11. So let's do some examples. So it's asking us for the coefficient, variable, exponent, and the constant for the examples on the left-hand side. So let's do the first example, negative 4d. Well, what's a variable here? Well, what's an unknown number that's being represented as a symbol? Well, that would be d. So we write d in the variable box. Coefficient, well, what is the number in front of the variable? And it seems that is negative 4, so we write negative 4. Exponent, well, we don't have an exponent, so we would just write 1. And for the constant, well, again, we don't see any constant as there's no numbers not in front of the variable, so to represent that, we put a 0. The dash to represent we do not have a constant. All right, next example, 8p minus 2. Oh, well, what's a variable here? What is the number that is unknown and being represented as a symbol? That'd be p. Write p right here. Coefficient, well, coefficient number in front of the variable is 8. So we write 8. Exponent, well, we don't really have an exponent like last time, so we just put one one more time. And for the constant, well, we do have a constant this time, which is negative 2, as it is not in front of the variable. So, negative 2. Next example, 3 m to the power of 4 minus 2 q plus 11. The variable here, well, it's a bit different this time, as we have two variables, q and m. 
and we would add these we we'll put both in the variable box for the coefficient well what are the numbers in front of these variables m and q seems to be 3 and negative 2 so we write 3 negative 2 exponent we have an exponent this time right here which is 4 and for the constant we also have a constant which is right here because it is not in front of the variable so that's 11 final example negative 2m to the power of 5 plus 5m to the power of 2 minus 7 the variable well there's two m's here but we not add them together we just put one m uh, for the coefficients well what are the numbers in front of these variables well it seems to be negative 2 and 5 so we write negative 2 and 5 exponent well we have two exponents here we will not add them we just put them down 5 and 2 and the constant, well, the constant, the number not in front of variables is negative 7. So let's try example number 2. On the table right here, it is asking us for the number of terms, its name, and the degree for the examples on the left-hand side. So let's do example number 1. 2m to the power of 3 minus 1. Well, how many terms are there? Well, there seems to be only two terms as is being separated by a minus here so number of terms we put two and the name for this one of course is binomial and for the degree well since we have one exponent here and no other exponents anywhere else the degree here would be three all right example number two 3m to the power of 4, b to the power of 6. Well, nothing is being separated by a minus or a plus. So, this is a single term. 1, which is called a monomial. monomial. And for the degree, well, to find the degree, you have to add all the exponents in one term. And that give us, so we add 4 and 6, that give us 10. Sample number 3. 3m to the power of 5, again, no minus or plus, so this would be one term, which in turn is called a monomial. And the degree, well, there's only one exponent here, don't need to add anything else, so it is just 5. Right, example number 2, m to the power of 3 minus 5, m to the power of 2 plus 2. Well, there seems to be three terms here as it's being separated by a plus and a minus, so three terms, which in turn is called a trinomial. And for the degree here, there are, diff there are these exponents, 3 and 2, but they're on two different terms so two and there's three right here but there are different terms so in order to find a degree we'd have to add all the exponents on one term so one term so m to the power of three five m to the power of two there are different terms and then if we have a situation situation like this we'd pick the highest degree which is three so what we'd write in this box is three because we add all the exponents in one term in one term and then we compare all the other exponents and we pick the highest one which is three which is a degree so let's try example number last one 5m to the power of 6d minus m to the power of 3d to the power of 2 so the number of terms here well this is one this is two as it being separated by a minus here so two terms just called binomial and using the logic we use for this last example here we'd add all the exponents in one uh, term so 5m to about 6 and d which there's a 1 here d to the power of 1, so 5m to the power of 6, d to the power of 1, we add those together, give us 7, 
And the next one, m to the power of 3, d to the power of 2, we'd add those together in 5. So 7 over 5, this 7 right here is the highest degree. So then we would put 7 because it is the highest exponent and that's the highest degree. So let's try example number 3. Label each algebra tile and write an expression for each set of algebra tiles. Well, let's check out example number 1. Well, there are three shaded in big boxes, two shaded in long sticks, and four shaded in small boxes. Let's identify these. So anything that is shaded in will be positive, and anything that's not shaded in will be negative. And so these are shaded in, so all of, all of these will be positive. So let's identify the squares. The big squares are x squared. These long sticks, they are just x, and these small cubes just equal 1. So we just count them and add them to an expression. So our 3x squares, or 3 big boxes here, so we put 3x squared, so 3x squared, plus 2 x as there are two long sticks and four small boxes so plus four so 3x squared plus 2x plus four next equate or next example right here so there are four x squares are there are four of these big boxes plus three x as there are three long sticks and plus five as there are five small boxes, 4x squared plus 3x plus 5. Number 3, again, this is 4x, as there are just four long sticks, except these small boxes aren't shaded in, so they're negative, so 4x minus 3. All right, moving on, number 4, well, there are negative 4x squared, so negative 4 big boxes, minus 1x, so that just be x, plus 6, as it is shaded in. Uh, so, that's how you do it. Let's do example number 4. Represent the following expressions using algebra tiles. Well, what do we learn from the last example? Well, shaded in was positive, non-shaded in was negative these big boxes were x squares these long sticks were just x's and these little boxes are just one so we can apply this to these so let's look at the first expression negative 2x plus 4 well since there are just these two negative x's we put two negative sticks plus four positive little squares. Let's move on to the next expression. 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Well, again, there are two positive big boxes because it is x squared minus 5x. Well, that's negative five long sticks plus six positive little cubes. Next expression negative x squared plus 2x minus 3 again just one big box as it is a negative and it's x squared plus two long six which are positive minus three negative little boxes finally for the last expression negative 5x minus 2 again just five negative long sticks minus two so that's just just minus negative little boxes two negative little boxes thank you for watching this lesson hopefully you have understand and learned everything uh, thank you for watching and have a good day